quest for candy. A quest for candy, Wayne Bravo.
seven years old. <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen did not just blend right in. In one of the few times that I could ever remember, Kathleen actually towered over other people. <laughs> and she was not less conspicuous. We noticed that she had the only homemade costume that we had seen during the entire evening. <laughs> And it was the only one that was in violation of just about every government safety guide. <laughs> now, traveling with this group of kids was a group of moms. And they were glaring at me. <laughs> they were talking among themselves. <clears throat> Who is that irresponsible, reckless man calling that poor child around in our neighborhood wearing that death trap across the I was suffering from the mom. She was helping them to adjust their costume, tie their shoes, and she was trading candy with them. <laughs> Finally, I got her attention. Kathleen, we need to leave this group as soon as we can. These moms are going to have me arrested for endangerment of a child. <laughs> a child who happens to be exactly one year, ten days, and three hours older than I am. <laughs> on our way. After we visited every home in the neighborhood, some of them twice, <laughs> one of them three times, they had such great candy. <laughs> we went back to the car. Cafe was hot and tired, but oh so happy. She whips off her coat sheet and says, we did it, we did it. Look at all this candy. I might even share one of these with you. <laughs> right. See, this night was about more than just one of the important lessons that we learned is that you really can't go back. We have to keep those precious memories as precious memories. But we can sure have a great time trying. <laughs> 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 <laughs>